We are here in Austin, Texas, where uh, you're allowed to ride bikes and breathe there. So it's very exciting to be with David Bragg. Hello, David Bragg. He's here from Washington. But well, we're going to have some fun. We're going to see Ben Smith. Is there anything you want to do here in Austin? Drink tons of coffee and be busy. Okay, very good. Uh, stay tuned for more action. Welcome to Beverage with Brad, with uh, Austin's famous uh, comedian, uh, celebrity, uh, the yeah. man about town. Mm -hmm. I almost said Austin's favorite son, but you, you weren't really raised here. Yeah, it's taken me a year and a half to become Austin's favorite son. Yeah. Austin's favorite comedian, Ben Smith. Yeah, excited to be here to be embarrassed in another state on Beverages with Brad. That's it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but we're here at a very beautiful coffee shop where you can get uh, fresh chicken eggs or something like that. Yeah. And uh, very publicly filming a beverages with bad rat episode in front of. Yeah, very, we have a live audience. A very cool live audience. Ben Smith, tell me about the, the highlights of Austin. How does it compare to Block Island? It's a it's a great comedy scene here. Uh, doesn't pay well, but a lot of good a lot of good shows to be had. Very young scene. Um, it's it's cool to be able to leave. New England and find out that jokes work down here, that, that work in New England, you know. Um, we did a mic last night, that was pretty fun. We so, I mean, performed that shenanigans. I'm actually staying at an Airbnb right by where Dave Chappelle and Joe Rogan are performing, and I'm like, why hang out and listen to those hacks when I could come to shenanigans when the real comedy takes place? They don't apparently know that shenanigans is where the music lives. Uh, this is my first time in Texas. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna just go ahead and guess this is not where all the country music stars got their start on this stage with the backdrop of a 10 year old's birthday party. I apologize for bringing Brad Pierce here tonight. I'm the guy that brought that last guy to Texas. So. I'm just here to prove that not everybody where we're from sounds like we're mentally challenged, okay? I can form a sentence, okay? I know how to talk, I can pronounce all my consonants. I don't know why he... What he is against shenanigans is my favorite laser tag arena theme park, okay? I, I, I came down here and I have no... I have no... Uh, I don't have the same reputation that I had in, in Rhode Island, so I had to start over. It is true about starting over in a new scene, yeah. so... You moved here right before the pandemic, so I want to ask you how no, did you... No, like a full year before the pandemic, but yeah. Yeah, how did you know that was coming and that you should move to somewhere that would stay open? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a little bit suspicious. I yeah, I had well, I had been monitoring uh, uh, bat the, the goings on of Wuhan. Exactly, I've been the monitoring eating of bats. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I, I subscribed to the, the subreddit for Wuhan. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I've been keeping an eye on it. Wuhan culture. Food, yes. Food and traveling uh, odysseys. Yeah. Uh, uh, traveling destinations. No, I got out at just the right time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and apparently the whole scene fell apart as soon as I left. So it all I, went to hell. This is Ben Smith, a failing comedian, watching two successful comedians in the distance. We're not even good enough to get into the show. That's what this is. When his dead will never die. Hilarious, Brad. Uh, get a shot. That's Ben's Ben's house down there. That's where he lives. He's got a nice pool, and he gets out of the pool and he gets on his yacht. Just a place to hang my hat, you know. That's right, Ben Smith. Right next ben, what is the name of this place where you bring Mount Bunnell? This is where Ben Smith brings his dates to make out <laughs> a romantic scene. I expect Austin. nothing different on this trip, too. <laughs> this is it. This is where we're at. Yeah. I'm going to just roll right down this hill into the water, and that'll be the end of me after this year. Yeah. So, yeah. good riddance. This is nice, Ben Smith. Check out those houses. Yeah, show, show all the rich people houses. Just rubbing it in. I can't get one karaoke gig. <laughs> These guys are pulling out four million dollar boats out of their garage. Right? It's been an exciting trip in Austin. Uh, how much longer do you think you're going to stay here? Uh, good question. I think, uh... Because you belong in New England, obviously. Well, you're biased, obviously. Um, you have a horse in the race, and that's just me being around to... Uh, oh yeah, forget my question, just start doing that. Oh no, listen, I just want to... <laughs> Got some exercise. Yeah, um, <laughs> I do love the ran the random weights just scattered about the backyard. They come with your house in Texas. <laughs> yeah. Every house comes with a grill and a bunch of weights. Well, it's just prison yards with Brad. Is what we'll do. <laughs> just prison yard workouts. Yeah. Um, but uh, I uh, I don't know. I think I will be here another 
another at least a year. I signed a lease on this house for a year, um, and uh, and especially during COVID, it's fun being down here in Texas when things are open. Things are relatively open, responsibly, of course. And uh, I believe the answer to what you're saying is once you're the greatest comedian all of Austin, you're going to ship back up to Rhode Island. Yes, 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 which I could see easily in the next year or two. Um, and then, and with, under a year, I'll do that. I'll accomplish that easily. So yeah, you're on the right path. What did you think of Austin, Brad? I enjoyed myself. Um, it definitely didn't feel like Texas. It felt like, yeah, like Portland or Seattle or Wicked and Street. No, Thayer Street. It Thayer felt like Street. Thayer yeah, Street. yeah, it is kind of like Thayer Street. Um, so I didn't really get like the Texas vibe, but uh, I enjoyed it. Met a lot of cool people. Uh, it was nice to do comedy and not get arrested. And I like to ask a lot of my guests this question: It's if you could have any superpower, what would it be? <laughs> um, I guess. Uh, that superpower is coming because once I get vaccinated, baby, we're oh, going to yeah. be superhuman. So the superpower you want is to fight off COVID. That's yes, it. that's yeah, the that's... superpower I want. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's coming. That's reasonable. Um, you're such a sensible guy. Of course uh-huh, you have a sensible yeah, yeah, yeah. answer. Yeah. Of course. Very low standards for what I want as a superpower. But um, uh, I don't know. What was your, You're just flying, right? No, no, no. I'm terrified of heights. Oh, right, right. Yeah, if I had the gift of flying. That would be funny, a superhero that can fly that's afraid of heights. Yeah, I would hover. Uh, I would yeah, never yeah. go above, like, 10 feet. Right. I'd be like, ah, yeah. oh, because I'd be afraid, like, yeah, like, I can walk, right, obviously, but sometimes I trip over my own feet, I miss a curb. So what if I'm having an off day and I'm, you know, a thousand yards up in the, a thousand feet up in the air, mm-hmm. and, and oh, maybe the flight's just not doing that well that day, right. I'm fucked, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, I would have Wolverine's healing factor. Oh, I think you have said that before, yes. Yes, as you know, I don't like to get old. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and that would allow me to be a child, uh like I am now for a lot longer. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. listen. I don't know what, what are you wrapping things up? I'm going to wrap things okay, up. Okay. Uh, right. Because I got to catch, uh, catch a flight mm-hmm. back to communist Rhode Island. And my line of the week was to send him back to the USSRI. Huh? Ba-pow. Ba-pow. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's been fun. Just kidding. Uh, Thank you, Gina. Uh, <laughs> Gina loves this show. I'm sure she's a she big fan of this show. every episode. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, Anyway, well, thank you for having me again in another state. Thanks so. for showing me around Texas. You were a great uh, tour guide. Appreciate that. Uh, right. Any any Rhode Islanders watching, if you're in Texas, let me know, and I'll give you a Rhode Island tour of Texas. Right. My mom will be down here next week. Okay, week yeah, the yeah. Smith tour. Yeah. All right. That, that should do it. Perfect. Good night, America. <laughs> yeah.